Hello everyone, today's boss is Adina. Players start Adina behind the pillars because Adina starts with boulder attack which will destroy pillars. As for the pillar mechanic, every pillar needs two people to stand behind it because one person is not enough to destroy the pillar. During the fight, Adina will choose some players to put pillars on the platform. These players will be the most distant players to the boss. For our group, we choose specific players to put pillars. And these players stay a little bit far from the group so they have the mechanic. And they put the pillars to the marker matches with theirs. We did this way so it makes everything easier if you don't want to get pillar mechanic or you are new to the raid just stay inside the adina's red circle hitbox people who stand inside this hitbox won't get pillar mechanics you need to decide which player will stand at which marker's pillar before the fight so same players goes behind same pillars again making the fight a lot easier Adina has 5 pillars in total. The player who gets the pillar mechanic will know that from the red circle under them. If you got someone else's pillar, you can check which marker doesn't have pillar and place yourself there. Also, one of the advantages of this fight is that Adina does not move. Adina does nearly all of her damaging attacks towards the tank. So if you don't stay in front of her, tank will be the only person dealing with most of her damage. Adina applies might stacks to herself with her each auto attack. So boon removal utility skills are appreciated on this boss. When Adina reaches 75% HP, pillars will disappear and Adina will be invulnerable. And Adina will start casting her quantum quake. The skill starts with huge arrows pointing opposite direction and will turn to earth beams turning anti-clockwise. This beam instantly kills players, so you should move with the beam as it turns. Platform will change according to these shapes, so platform shapes are not random. But as you can see, it kinda turns to jumping puzzle, so be careful to not to fall from the platform. If you fall, you won't die and fly back to platform, but the pushback will leave bleeding on you. At 75%, 50% and 25%, Adina will cast Quantum Quake and hands will appear on the sides of the platform. The reason we start killing the hands in this direction video is because the hand we start applies eroding curse on all players every 15 seconds which causes them to increase their damage taken. When the mechanic for hiding behind the pillar comes, each pillar has to have two players behind it. Each damaged pillar provides Adina with a stack of pandemonium. Pandemonium means outgoing damage is increased by 20% per stack, incoming damage is reduced by 20% per stack, and this effect can only be gained by creatures in this raid. Players can only remove it, so it is essential that these pillars should be removed as soon as possible. If a player fails to reach their pillar when Adina is doing boulder attack, that player gets downed and their pillar fails to get destroyed. One way to destroy this pillar is to put a new one just near it so it gets destroyed too. The other way is to drop pillars on the damaged pillars. If you have less players alive, you can apply this tactic. As one of the last mechanics, at 20% and 10% HP, a hand of erosion will spawn at the edge of the arena. These will constantly apply stacks of eroding curse, making the fight more deadly as it goes on. To do this boss, also skills which reflect projectiles are appreciated because Adina casts a skill called Stone Fist. This will push players back and when you are at the hand phase, this skill causes players to fall from platform. Also, the hand at the southeast casts projectiles on players which causes damage. This can be prevented via reflecting too. This will be all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more guides.